Welcome friends. So today we're going to be working on the rims. I'm going to be truck bed linering the rims and this uh, plastic face plate. Just stay with me and we'll get this thing done. So here's all the tools that you're going to need. Check it out. Okay, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some plastic to tape around the wheels and maybe the car. You're going to need sandpaper. I'm going to use 120 grit. This is a trim tool. You can buy these on Amazon or wherever. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, some blue tape for taping all the stuff off. I'm going to use Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. And I got this off Amazon. So all this stuff is uh, basically what you need. You're going to need a respirator uh, and uh, some goggles and probably some gloves. Well guys, we just got a whole bunch of wind here and I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna spray, but I'll at least get all the prep work done and show you guys how to do all the prep work. So we've prepped the wheels, everything except for taping the lug nuts and taping the valve stem over here. Uh, everything else we pretty much prepped, we've sanded. Uh, I've done all four wheels and now I'm just gonna wait till the wind dies down, tape it tomorrow and spray it. Did you guys hear that? Me either. Today there's no wind and we're gonna go ahead and spray these wheels. As you guys saw yesterday, we did fill the inside of our wheels with uh, basically like a plastic sheeting. So today we're going to be taping off the lug nuts, taping off the valve stems, and then we're going to go ahead and slide some cards or some paper uh, and tape off the wheel so we don't spray the wheel. Alright, so the method that I've found uh, that works the best for me is to take a rag, put some Windex on it, and then really get into the crevice right here, and then wipe this part off as well all of this section here so that the tape has something to sit on otherwise this little section here won't stick you'll end up having like silver on the outside instead of what you want which is that ride-on liner or the truck bed liner uh just a quick tip let's get back to it and finish this up okay that took a little bit longer than i thought it was going to take uh, unfortunately, I had used tire dressing on the tires <laughs> prior to doing this. Okay, instead of wrapping the whole thing in plastic, I decided to just cut a circle out of cardboard. There's my not-so-circular circle, and we're going to go ahead and spray this thing.
we are all done. Everything has been truck bed linered. And yeah, pretty stoked how it came out. I, uh, I didn't think it was gonna come out this good, to be honest. And uh, if you just make sure that you tape uh, well, and then kind of give it a, a little finessing around the edges, everything comes out just fine. And then make sure always to put plastic behind so you don't uh, get your rotors. I'll let you know how it goes when I get new tires on it and uh, we'll see how much paint comes off. So guys, super pumped, super easy project to just give your uh, vehicle just a little bit of an upgrade. It doesn't have to be a Sprinter van, it could be a Jeep or uh, whatever you guys have. So uh, thanks for joining us on this one. Really appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and check our Amazon links down below. That's going to give you all the stuff that we uh, used for all the truck bed liner. Remember to subscribe and uh, remember guys, create what you love. See you on the next one.